Asamyuta Hasta The Single Hand Gestures This video of single hand gestures is specially designed for the benefit of beginners. The way a gesture needs to be held and its meaning is also mentioned. Pataka Here the thumb is bent to touch the fingers and the fingers are extended. This is pataka and the meaning is a flag. Tripataka When the ring finger is bent in a pataka hand, it becomes tripataka and this denotes a flag with three colors. Artha pataka When the ring finger and the little finger are bent, it then becomes artha pataka which denotes half of a flag. Kartari Mukha The index finger and the middle finger are outspread. This looks like a scissor, doesn't it? Mayurakyo When we join the ring finger to the thumb and the other fingers are extended, then it is Mayurahasta, depicting a peacock. Artha Chandra The thumb of the pataka hand is stretched out. It becomes Artha Chandra. The meaning is half moon. Arala When the index finger is curved to touch the thumb, it becomes Arala and it means bent. Shukatunda In this hasta, we find the index finger and the ring finger curved to denote a parrot's head. Mushti When all the four fingers are bent upon the palm and the thumb is set on them, then it becomes mushti and it means a fist. Shikhara If the mushti hand has its thumb raised up, it becomes shikhara depicting a peak. Kapitha The index finger bends and rests upon the thumb. It is then called kapitha meaning elephant apple. Katakamukha There are three varieties in katakamukha which have different meanings. Now this is a mudra which is used frequently in pure dance that is nritta. We need to rest the index finger and the middle finger on the thumb and the meaning is opening of a bracelet. Katakamukha In this variety of Katakamukha, the middle and the index fingers are curved and rest on the thumb, denoting a bird. Katakamukha This last variety denotes a girl. The thumb and the index fingers need to be held together with middle finger looking down and the rest of the fingers extended. Suchi The index finger is raised and the rest of the fingers are pressed to the palm. This denotes a needle. Going forward, in the next mudra, maintain the suchi hand releasing the thumb which makes chandrakala meaning digit of the moon padma kosha when the fingers are separated and a little bent and the palm is also a little hollowed the hand is called padma kosha and the meaning is lotus bud sarpa shirsha in this hasta the tips of the fingers in the pataka hand are bent which looks like a snake's hood. Mruga Shirsha When the thumb and the little fingers are extended and the three fingers in the middle are bent forward, it forms Mruga Shirsha, denoting a deer's head. Simha Mukha The tips of the middle finger and the ring finger are applied to the thumb 
and the rest of the fingers are extended this hand means a lion's face kangula or langula moving on we need to hold padma kosha and tuck in the ring finger it becomes kangula which looks like a bell ala padma here the fingers beginning from the little finger are bent and separated from one another the hand is called ala padma denoting a full bloomed lotus chatura let's observe the next mudra carefully the thumb is placed in the middle of the middle finger and the adjoining two fingers are clinging to the middle finger and the little finger is outstretched it becomes chatura meaning a square bhramara when the thumb and the middle finger touch each other and the four finger is curved and the remaining fingers are outstretched the hand is called bhramara meaning a bee hamsasya if the thumb and the four finger touch each other and the remaining fingers are outstretched the hand is called hamsasya denoting a swan beak hamsapaksha if the little finger of the sarpashirsha hand is outstretched the hand is called hamsa paksha meaning swan's wing samdamsha if the fingers of padma kosha are closed and opened then it is samdamsha and it means pincers mukula if we bring all the fingers of our hand to meet together then it is called mukula meaning a flower bud tamra chuda we need to curve the index finger and hold the rest of the fingers in a closed fashion then it becomes tamra chuda denoting a cock trishula we need to hold the thumb and the little finger stretching the middle three fingers upright as if to show number 3 it denotes trishula the powerful weapon why don't you try now say the name hold the hasta and practice